Hi everyone! If you're new here, I'm Alan with Earth Glow, and this channel is all about sharing the joy of candle making. So today's video is going to be an unboxing video. Um, I actually just got back from the West Coast. Um, I saw some family and I had a follow-up appointment from my facial uh, gender masculinization surgery. It was a one-year uh, kind of follow-up appointment that I had to do. Um, but yeah, so I just kind of got back here and I was like, okay, I need to film this unboxing video because Candle Science sent me their new fragrance collection, which I wasn't even aware was going to be released. Um, and they just released it a couple of days ago. So I'm super excited. I want to get right into today's video, open this box and give you all my first impressions and smell all of these new fragrances for the first time with you all out of the bottle. So if this is something that you're interested in then I hope that you're subscribed and I hope that you keep on watching. So hopefully we are in focus but I'm so excited to check out these new scents. I think that they said that this was supposed to be a year-round collection so it's not intended for like holidays or any type of a seasonal collection. Um, and hopefully I have all the scents here. Um, I'm so excited, you guys. I, I, fragrances, as you all know, are my absolute favorite type of content to film. Um, so let's see what we have here. And Candle Science does always use these biodegradable um, packing peanuts. Okay, so we have Petrarcher. I hope I'm, I'm saying that one right. And I'm going to take all these out and then I'm going to smell them on camera once I have all of them out here. Um, mountain Mist. Here in focus. Golden Santal. I'm super excited for this one. This is supposed to be modeled after Le Labo's Santal 33, which Stone Candles actually makes one uh, of their fragrances modeled after that scent, and um, it's one of my favorite scents of all time. Um, we have Sweet Tobacco. Beechwood. I'm sort of curious what that one's gonna be like. And I think that is all. There might be, oh yeah, there's one more here. Um, sage and Cypress. So I'm gonna flip you all around and I think I got everything. I'm gonna flip you all around and smell all these on camera with you all. I'm so, so excited. So I do wanna start off this video by saying thank you so much to Candle Science uh, for sending me these fragrances. I'm super excited to try them, but I do always give my honest opinion of fragrances on this channel. Um, for better or for worse, um, it's very important to me to have that transparency with my viewers. So as you all know, and as Candle Science knows, um, that is my standard. Whether or not fragrances are sent to me or I purchase them, my honest, transparent opinion is um, my number one thing um, for this channel. So let's get right into these. Um, the first one I think I want to check out is this Beechwood fragrance. And they did advertise, um, they did tell me in their email that these fragrances were supposed to be kind of more upscale, I guess, um, kind of more um, elevating our candle lines. So let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. So this first Beechwood one, I'm going to put this on a strip here. Okay. So this fragrance is really strong out of the bottle and I'm going to just put this on a bladder strip and I do get these on Amazon. You can also purchase them on candle science. I think it's about the same price. Um, but yeah. Okay. So this is very much like you get the salt of high tide, but this actually reminds me more than anything of a sort of cologne-like fragrance. Um, if I were to take Fahrenheit, which is one of my favorite colognes um, by Dior, and mix it with like some sea salt and some sea minerals and a little bit of high tide, um, I think I would have this fragrance. Um, hang on a second. I gotta go get my Dior here so I can compare them side by side. I hate to like say something like that and not have them side by side for a true comparison. So give me one second. Okay, so I am back here and if you all can't tell, I am a little bit obsessed with Fahrenheit um, by Dior. I have two of the like three ounce bottles and then I also have it in a travel size bottle. And 
I know this cologne inside and out. Like I wear it, I used to wear it for several years on like a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and I don't even need to spray it. I can smell enough of it just off of the cap here. But I wanted to compare that side by side to this beech wood. Um, yeah, there's something about this that reminds me of this cologne. Now, it's in no way spot on dupe, but it's definitely got some reminiscent notes to this. And I think it, wow. Okay, I'm gonna put this one back on the strip here because I feel like I could smell this beech wood much better on the scent strip. Um, yeah, this is like a C version of a mahogany and teak wood, but it definitely has more Lux perfume notes to it. All right, next up, let's check out this golden, actually, no, I'm gonna save this one until the end, the golden Santal. I'm so excited for that one, but let's check out this mountain mist next. And I'm gonna smell them just straight out of the bottle here. Oh my God, I just dropped the cap on my shirt. This mountain mist out of the bottle is kind of interesting. Um, I'm getting some notes that seem to be kind of competing with each other. It's like cypress with some berries. It, it sort of reminds me of that red berry balsam that I really didn't like around the holidays. Um, just first impressions. Uh, so let's put this one on a blotter strip and see how it does like this. Hmm, yeah, it's better, but there's something about it. There's a peppery note that's really competing for me with one of the sweeter notes in this one, and um, I'm not liking it. Um, it's not terrible. I do like it more than I like the red berry balsam, but that wasn't a very high bar to set. Um, yeah, uh, this mountain mist, I'm definitely getting a lot of fruity, sweet berry notes mixed with like peppery pine notes, and uh, this one I'm not enjoying out of the bottle very much. Next up, Let's take a look at this Sage and Cypress. Now, Candle Sciences, um, what is it called? Um, their Fraser Fir is um, definitely more of a um, pine type of a scent, but it's one of my best sellers. Um, at the holiday time, I sell it as my Douglas Fir candle. And, um, but this one, also has sage in it, which is another one of my best sellers, their white sage and lavender. So I'm really curious what this sage and cypress is gonna be like when you mix um, both of those types of scents together. I feel like it could be really interesting. I'm sort of thinking I'm gonna get some aromatherapy type vibes from this one. Mmm. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely getting um, a light scent out of the bottle, um, but I'm getting a lot of Fraser Fur type vibes from this one, and I'm thinking maybe they did mix some of their Fraser Fur in this. Um, yeah, this really just smells like Fraser Fur to me with a little bit of sage, but not very much. Like, honestly, I'm mostly getting Fraser Fur vibes from this, and I would say it's like 10 to 15% sage. I definitely like this fragrance. Um, I think that this also reminds me of their Rosemary Sage, I think it's called. Um, I will put the correct name up on the screen if that wasn't it. But I think that this really reminds me of that fragrance and also Fraser Fur. And I like it, but if you do have either of those fragrances in your collection, then you might wanna pass on this Sage and Cypress. But if you are looking for something that's more aromatherapy-like and you're not familiar with either of those scents, but you really want that white Sage, which is so popular in the New Age community, um, I would check this one out. Oh my God, I just tripped it on my shirt. All right, next, let's see, what should we do? Should we try the sweet tobacco? Um, I am sort of wondering why they came out with a scent like this. I haven't smelled it yet, obviously, but I know that their um, Spiced Honey and Tonka has a lot of tobacco notes to it, and the Spiced Honey and Tonka is such a popular one for so many people. Um, I actually sell that scent in my fall line as my Honey Citrine Glow. So this is, again, the Spiced Honey and Tonka by Candle Science. And this is such a perfect scent with tobacco. So it has the sweetness of the honey and the sort of nostalgic quality of the tobacco. So I'm kind of curious as to why they came out with a scent that was called Sweet Tobacco when they already have that one. Uh, but let's see what it does. Hmm. 
Okay, this one is definitely more kind of skanky, kind of earthy, kind of woodsy, kind of, um, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Um, okay, I'm gonna take this thing off and try not to drop it and um, put this one on a strip. Okay, and you all know as well that I am not a big fan of most of the tobacco scents that I have smelled, like the pipe tobacco and cashmere from Nature's Garden, and um, I do like the Aztec, the tobacco caramel, which is very similar to the Candle Science Spiced Honey and Tonka, but yeah, this scent is not for me. Um, yeah, there's something about it that's almost uh, pungent, and in, in sort of a... I think that this scent reminds me almost of, it reminds me of hay almost, but like mixed with tobacco. And it, there's something about it that's, that's uh, it's a really unique note. It, it's kind of like an autumn lodge type of a scent. Um, this is not for me at all. Uh, it almost smells like it has marijuana in it too or something. I have no idea, but I do not enjoy this sweet tobacco out of the bottle. I will be making this into a candle. I will be making all of these into a candle um, with 464 soy. So um, yeah, definitely stay tuned for that because my opinion could really change. Um, but out of the bottle, this sweet tobacco by Candle Science is not for me. Okay, so we have only two fragrances left and they're the two that I was the most excited for. Um, this Petra. Petrarcher, Petrarcher, I'm sure that I'm butchering that pronunciation. And also the Golden Santo, um, I'm so excited for. So, uh, and I'm also super familiar with the Le Labo type. So let's do this one next. I'm, I'm most excited for this one, this Golden Santo. Um, because Santo 33 by Le Labo is iconic and Stone Candles makes a very close dupe to that one um, that is uh, called Santal and I have it in my Wonderlust collection as my San Francisco candle but I wasn't quite the happiest with how it was performing in that collection because it does kind of have issues with the wooden wicks so let's check out this golden Santal by Candle Science and see what this one is gonna do for us I'm gonna smell it out of the bottle first oh wow Okay, this is similar to the Stone Candles um, scent and the Le Labo type, but this one is kind of coming off lighter out of the bottle and it definitely has more of like a powdery note than the Stone Candles one. Um, I'm gonna go grab the one by Stone and compare them side by side here um, so that I can be sure I'm giving you the most accurate information. Okay, so I just got the one by Stone Candles and these are both supposed to be dupes for the Le Labo Santal um, 33 fragrance. And so, yeah, okay, this one hands down, I like a hundred times better out of the bottle than the Candle Science Golden Santal. Just, yeah, hands down. Um, the Golden Santal by Candle Science is nice but it definitely has more powder and there's something in it that just, um, I think it's the powder and it's lighter too out of the bottle. And so that is kind of concerning to me because these kind of base heavy fragrances are gonna be lighter in general. Um, yeah, hands down prefer the Stone Candles Santal out of the bottle. But I will say that this is like, Gosh, this is $90 for a 16 ounce bottle and the Candle Science one isn't even $30. So if you are trying to get close to that scent, but you just don't have it in your budget or in your business um, pricing to be buying something um, like this, then I would recommend checking out this Golden Santal by Stone or by Candle Science. Okay, so the last fragrance I'm gonna be checking out from this haul is Petrarcher. Um, I hope I'm saying this right. I'm sure I'm butchering it. Um, but this is supposed to be, I want to say like a mountain, like a fresh rainwater type of a fragrance. Um, like after it rains, that type of a scent. Um, and I'm so excited to smell this. So let's see what Petrarcher, um, let Petrarcher by Candle Science is going to do for us. Oh, wow. 
Okay, this fragrance is exciting to me. Um, this smells like literally the earth. This smells like the earth after it's rained. This smells like dirt. Um, there was someone in my uh, in our YouTube candle fam who was asking me for a fragrance that smelled like dirt. Um, this is it, but it's a luxury type of a dirt fragrance. Um, this is like after it rains, like the earth. This is like minerals and like fresh soil. And um, I think that this is a spot on um, type of a scent for the name. And I'm really excited to smell this one in candles and see how this one is gonna perform because this is different than anything I've ever smelled by any company. This Petricker by Candle Science. Okay, so in final summary, um, and again, as you all know, these are just out of the bottle, so I will be making all these into candles to see if my opinion changes and how they perform in 464 Soy. Um, but definitely my favorite is this Beechwood scent, and this one is just extraordinary. Um, I think that this is going to give Mahogany and Teakwood by Flaming Candle a run for its money and um, Candle Science's Saffron Cedarwood, but this is also like you get that kind of Caribbean Teakwood element and to me, if you like the Dior Cologne Fahrenheit, um, it definitely has those vibes to it, um, kind of mixed with the Mahogany and Teakwood and a little bit of like um, high tide salt. Um, so that one hands down is my favorite and I would have to say my second favorite is probably this um, Petricker and um, after that I would probably say the Sage and Cypress. It comes in third for me out of the bottle and then after that I would put this Golden Santal and then I would have to say um, probably... Mm, I'll have to say probably the sweet tobacco just because it kind of reminds me of hay and I am looking for a hay fragrance for my um, for my uh, rustic collection so I would have to rank that one next and then the mountain mist last. Um, but anyways if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to tap the notification bell so that you don't miss anything from me. And thank you so much again to Candle Science for sending me these fragrances. Um, again, this video was not sponsored or affiliated in any way, um, but I'm so grateful that they did reach out to me and send these over. Um, it's always, always, always so exciting for me to do these unboxing videos and to make these fragrances into candles. Um, so stay tuned for that. My opinions could very much change once I have made these into candles. But thank you so much for watching this video and happy candle making.